so accessible. <laughs> well, what are you getting done around the house today? I have a laundry list of things to do, pun intended. I've got some laundry. I have a lot to put away in my closet, a lot to talk about. I've got dinner, oh my gosh. I need to grab the meat out of the freezer. I saw it yesterday when I was getting meat out and I was like, oh my gosh, so chuck roast is on the menu. I'm gonna make also healthy mashed potatoes. I have a lot to do. So I'm gonna hydrate myself with some element. You guys know how much I love this stuff and super exciting. This video is sponsored by Element. Huge thanks to them for supporting me. Massive thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. And of course, there's always a little deal for you too. Element is an electrolyte drink mix. It's sugar free, it tastes amazing. Watermelon salt is my favorite flavor, but they have a wide range of flavors. This stuff has everything that I need and nothing that I don't want in it. It's sugar free, which is why I pick it over other drink mixes, but also because it contains the perfect science-backed ratio of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. And everyone needs those things in their bodies. And this stuff has no junk in it, no sugar, no artificial coloring, no fillers, no gluten, only the good stuff. So I typically drink it in the morning when I go to the gym. It's part of my morning routine because when I go to the gym, I sweat, I lose electrolytes, I gotta replenish that. But the reason why I pick this over anything else is because it has magnesium and magnesium helps to rebuild muscle but even if you don't work out like I said the sodium magnesium potassium combo is good for everybody it helps with so much and I'm learning a lot while diving into this it helps with sleep with hormonal regulation with nutrient absorption fluid balance nerve impulses there's so much and it can help eliminate headaches if you get a lot of headaches maybe you're missing one of these helps with cramps fatigue sleepiness and I am just scratching the surface if you check out the element website they have so so many science-backed studies that you can read up on. I'm actually learning a lot from the website and it's really interesting. It's so easy and enjoyable. It tastes delicious. I'm loving this stuff. I'm just a busy mom over here. I wish I knew about this stuff when I was pregnant and postpartum. I am still breastfeeding and I lose a lot of fluid and nutrients that way. So I'm constantly looking for a way to replenish those. And Element does a great job. So my link is in the description box and if you, Want to check them out? Element is offering you a free sample pack with any order and it comes with eight flavors. So you can try them all, see which one you love the most. So many great flavors, mango chili, chocolate, grapefruit, unflavored, raspberry salt, orange salt, citrus salt, watermelon salt. I tried grapefruit the other day. To find out which flavor is your favorite, check out my link in the description box, drinkelement.com slash the wads, drinklmnt.com slash the wads will get you a free sample pack with any purchase. Incredible. Watermelon is still my go-to and my favorite. Stay salty. Let me know what flavor is your favorite. Until then, I'm going to suck on this, but don't forget to check them out because I really think you're gonna like it. Before I forget, I'm gonna go get the meat out of the freezer. The long lost meat in my freezer. So there's a highly rated recipe on macro friendly foods and it's called caramelized chuck roast. It's actually really simple. Like it's hardly any effort at all. Minimal effort, maximum results. I made it once before and it was really good. I don't know if this is gonna be enough to feed us. It's two and a half pounds, but I think there's a bone in there. And we have a couple extra people coming over today. Oh my gosh, and I think we might be going to a barbecue midday. So I'm gonna throw something to bring over there. This is actually not a crock pot recipe, which I feel like you could probably also do in the crock pot, but I'm just gonna start thawing it out a little bit so when it's dinner time, it's ready to go. No! <gasps> I think my heart just broke. Along with my sourdough starter. Oh my gosh, is there any saving this? Oh, I just pulled it out of the fridge. Me and my Butterfinger hands. Well, I was going to feed my sourdough starter. I might, is there a glass? I don't feel any glass in there. It actually looks pretty nice if you ask me. I'm actually really upset about this. I don't know, like this is looking fine. You know how I saved that little sourdough starter from before? I think I'm just gonna have to start with that. Uh, well, I was getting this out and I just dropped like three more things. So I don't know what is going on. I think our fridge is just needing to be cleaned out. Hopefully this is good. I'm gonna start out, I have like a quarter cup of starter and then a quarter cup of flour and an eighth cup of water. I'm just gonna mix this and cross my fingers that it rises. Please rise my little baby. 
So since I'm here, I might as well fill this up. I was looking for a sourdough jar. Went in my bedroom. I'm needing to put away my thrifted items. And I found this. I just washed it. And I got it to put my taco seasoning in. The jar is slightly cuter, slightly smaller. And this is my taco seasoning jar. It's the homemade taco seasoning. I actually love it. I only made one batch of it last time in like a random video at the end. So you may have missed it. I've used it for tacos several times love it so i figured i will do like a quadruple batch of it anyway i've been storing it in my cabinet without a lid on it it's fine that's uh, basically my life but i thought it was funny that i just washed this and the top says flour i got it from the thrift store so it's secondhand who is storing flour in here what kind of non-baker did i just meet all right let's throw this together only seven ingredients Wait, what? I thought it needed onion powder. It does. Where is my only onion powder? <laughs> I'm dropping everything. Eight seasonings, and you've got yourself some homemade taco seasoning that not only tastes fantastic, but you don't have to like buy the packet. Normally, I just like dump, dump, dump when I'm making tacos, but this is pretty convenient to have. So let's see if I can quadruple this easily. Oh, wowza, I just did all of the math conversions. We're starting out heavy here. So 12, oh, I'm already making a mess, tablespoons of chili powder. And this might not be big enough. We're gonna make it work. Seems like a lot, that's a good base. And then six tablespoons of cumin. I bought extra just for this, so I hope I have another container. And then four tablespoons of garlic powder. And I'm out of room here. Two tablespoons of oregano. Two tablespoons of salt. And if you don't want to quadruple it, I'll link the recipe below so you can have like a normal portion. I don't know if we're gonna make it in this jar. We're definitely not. We've got onion powder, two tablespoons of this, and we are overflowing. Three teaspoons of pepper. I can't remember how many teaspoons of black pepper I put in there, but I'm going to transfer it into a bowl because I still have more. I'm just gonna do two more. And I forgot the paprika. I need four tablespoons. I added a little bit more salt and then I'm just gonna replenish my salt container. While I mix all of this up and then I have to figure out what container I'm going to put this in because, um, wow, that's a lot of taco seasoning. Good thing we eat tacos like once a week. It says in the recipe, but I think you add like three tablespoons per, like whenever you're grounding up whatever meat you're using. I just do it by eye. I just sprinkle it on there. I don't even measure. Oh, well, well, well. I was looking all over my house. So this is like a quart size-ish. I don't know what size this is. A quart, maybe this is a quart and this is a, I don't know, don't ask me questions. I bought these because I plan on canning my life away eventually and check out this funnel that I've got as a gift last year. It's really come in handy during all my homestead happenings. But I got a bunch of those jars and I'm gonna use one of them just for this taco seasoning because I was not anticipating just how much taco seasoning this made. But you know what? I won't have to make any again for a while. So that's good. See, I could have timesed it by five, I feel like, and been fine with a jar like this. All right, taco seasoning, good to go. And while I was just putting the baby down for a nap, I was searching recipes for barbecues, and I actually saw a ton, which our next family dinner night, the theme is picnic. And I have found so many recipes for a picnic that I want to do, like picnic, like such cute, great recipes. I don't have the ingredients for most of those, but I am really excited about them. But for the barbecue today, I was just thinking I was just gonna cut up some fruit. And then I was like, oh, I don't have enough fruit to fill my trifle dish. I like, I don't know what dish to put it in. And I just feel like I overthink stupid stuff. Like the details that don't matter, you know? But while I contemplate what I'm going to, oh my gosh, how long have these been sitting in here? What did they get washed with? I don't want to run this wash again. But I also don't want my kids to smell like funk. Okay, 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 okay. I love that my kids are doing their own laundry. <sighs> yes, I do, yes, I do. Is this clean? Okay, that smells clean, that's good. This does not smell clean and, ooh, okay. A couple of options. Yeah, I have to wash those again. Ugh. I feel like that this hardly ever happens, but it has happened in my last like couple of videos. What the heck? Well, cucumber and bacon salad seems really interesting. Let me show you the good stuff. So good. The key lime pound cake, the lavender simmer pot. 
Oh my gosh, I love Pinterest. I had lavender shortbread cookies up there. Lots of lavender, lots of like drink mixes, but more natural, you know, with like fruits and herbs and stuff like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to make still for the picnic, that's next weekend, so I have a couple of days to think about it before I have to go shopping for it. But for today, check those out. Aren't those adorable too? I do have some cut up pineapple in the fridge. I have like some random fruit, so I think I'm just gonna throw it together in the bowl and then make the like fruit topping that I really enjoy from yogurt. It's like key lime yogurt. Should I make cookies? Oh my gosh, I thought, oh, should I make deviled eggs? Cause I have some, you know, boiled eggs in the fridge. That's where I left. I, I think it was last year, 4th of July-ish. That's where I left my second deviled egg tray. I'm pretty sure that's the last time I brought something over there. Gathering some fruits in my fridge and I found this in the back of my fruits drawer. And it might be time to clean out my fridge. I'll probably stretch it out for a couple more days. I've got some mangoes that I found in the outside fridge. They are looking nice. This might be old. And here's the story, it came in a set the first one I cut open right away and it just tasted funky, so I've been delaying cutting up this one. Somehow it looks absolutely perfect. Smells fantastic. All right, I'll do it. I'm just gonna cut up a bunch of fruit and stuff. Can I give this to the chickens? Will they like it? I've got strawberry, I've got pineapple, mango, a little bit of blueberry. I think it's gonna be a nice little fruit salad. Ooh, man. Let me tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, man, I wish I had some more of this fruit salad left over. It's just so nice. It's always so nice to have prepared fruit ready to go. That's why the grocery store is really bump up. You know, the other day I was at the grocery store just replenishing the fruit. Yesterday, I believe it was. Who the heck knows? Does anyone else go? Yes, five thoughts in a matter of 30 seconds. Does anyone else go to the grocery store? Was that my thought? Hold on. My thought was, does anyone else go to bed at night thinking, wow, this morning felt like it was four days ago? <laughs> That's how I feel every day. I'm like, did I really do that this morning? It felt like I did it last week. Um, okay, second thought was I went to the grocery store and the watermelon looked really good, like the pre-cut watermelon. And I thought, you know, every time I pick out a watermelon, it sucks. Even when I do all the special things, to it's whatever. So... I thought, okay, let me pick it up. Let me see how much it is. $14 for some cut up watermelon. I just about fell over. I just about keeled the heck over. $14 for a container. Oh my gosh. They're laughing all the way to the bank there. I mean, granted, it is like the good parts of the watermelon, but then the bottom of it is always kind of juicy because you never know how long it's been on the shelf. You know, probably a day, maybe two max. But anyway... I love having pre-cut up fruit like this in the fridge. Sometimes I'll cut it up, I'll bring it on the counter when the kids go home from school or for dinner time too. So I've been enjoying doing that. I know a lot of people food prep where they like prep everything the day that they go grocery shopping. I have found that I'm not very good at that. <laughs> so I will maybe the next day do a lot of fruit prep or food prep and that, you know, that's always helpful. But also, you know, how long does it take up to cut up a cantaloupe? How long does it take up? Well, I guess that's accurate too. Okay, I'm whipping up a topping to this, to the fruit salad. It's actually my favorite. So I just take some cream cheese, the lime zest. Oh my gosh. And I know some people are like, oh, you're zesting it the wrong way. No, you're, you are. Okay, how about that? Um, I actually enjoy zesting it this way. I think it's just because that's what I've always known. And the other way just feels so unnatural to me. And I always cut myself. So that is the way I will do it from now on. And for the rest of my life, can't teach an old dog new tricks and all that good stuff. I'm throwing the lime juice in there, a little bit of honey, a splash of vanilla. I'm whipping it up. And this is, I'm not huge on fruit dip, if you will, because I know Pinterest has a lot of fruit dip recipes, but this, oh my gosh, I think it's the lime that gets me. It's just so refreshing. Oh, and it's got some yogurt in there too. Some like no sugar added, um, you know, like a citrusy yogurt. It's so good. And it's, you know, high in protein, all that stuff. Obviously, it's from Macro Friendly Foods. It's a Macro Friendly Foods recipe because I am subscribed to her meal plan. And that's where I get mm, a ton of my recipes from. Great inspiration. And I mean, I don't know. I don't want to be dramatic and say that it saved my life, but it saved my sanity. <laughs> I think I can say that pretty accurately, pretty confidently, because 
we all know the mental load of meal planning and meal prepping and, oh, what are the kids going to eat? These are all great family-friendly meals. You've heard me rave about them before, and today is no different. I mean, I could go on every day you want to talk about it. I'm here if you want to talk about it. So I've moved on to making some deviled eggs. They're fantastic. I always like to have... Um, this is for the barbecue, obviously. They're not just for us. But then I thought, well, if these don't make it to the barbecue, we could still enjoy these because who doesn't love a good deviled egg? Although this is a lot of deviled eggs. And I just make it the simple way. There might be... I, I know there's variations of the same recipe. I am actually not a huge fan of deviled eggs. So I just keep it nice and simple. Mayonnaise, salt, and pepper. Literally, that's it. You don't have to do anything special to them. Um, people just love a deviled egg. And then I'm like, is the mayonnaise necessary? Can we just eat hard-boiled eggs? When Wolfgang loves them. My whole family loves them. And whenever I pull them out, it's like so crazy. It's the old adage of if something's out on a buffet and it's covered, no one will take the time to take the top off and, and eat it. Because I, I think it's because they don't want to be disrespectful. But for me... I don't like open it and eat it. I brought it so everyone can enjoy it. My point is when I bring out the eggs, the boiled eggs, suddenly everyone in the house wants a boiled egg. I'm like, they're literally in the fridge all of the time. Why don't you go grab one? But it's if I bring it out, that's when they all come and gather around and they're like, oh, I love hard boiled eggs. I'm like, seriously? I'm going to start packing them in your lunch. You love them so much. Sometimes I do that anyway. Some of my kids I knew loved hard boiled eggs. But then the other ones, I'm like, oh, wow, you're like downing them. Okay. So I'm covering it. I love this container for hard boiled eggs too, or deviled eggs, whatever the heck. It carries so many of them, zero space wasted, and it's stackable. I mean, what's not to love? And then I figured, well, just in case I do leave the container behind again, I might as well put one of our stickers on it. And really what I should be doing is putting our name and phone number on these stickers because some people might be like, who the heck is Wattsworth? You know what I mean? So maybe I'll do that for next time, but I didn't. Before I head to the barbecue, I am going to show you some skeletons in my closet, if you will. Come on. So this is a hamper full of clean clothes that I need to put away. And I'm about to show you something really shocking, okay? Unsolved mystery style. I should get that man to do the voiceover for this next part. I'm not even sure if he's still with us. But I'm gonna clean up my closet. I debated sharing this with you or showing you or filming it, but this is my life and I'm here only to make you feel a little bit better about yours. This isn't the first time I'm cleaning my closet. It's not the last. We all know I love to go thrifting. I feel like I need to make these justifications before I show you because that's how bad it is. I'm not really decluttering, although I could. I feel like I've got a couple more months before my yearly declutter happens. But basically, when in the morning, when I'm going in my closet to get dressed, I'm like, I don't know where anything is. Most of my clean clothes are just on the floor. I'm like stepping over them, stepping on them. My kids come in there. Wolfgang's favorite thing to do is like pull the shoes off. So brace yourselves for impact is what I'm trying to say and the other day um, Alex and I went through his closet and really tidied it up so it motivated me and I was like oh yeah I should probably do the same to mine <laughs> it's not as bad as it looks do you believe me when I tell you that so this pile of clean clothes are my new clothes and it's really not that bad there's a really big box under it just choose. I just need to put them up. Okay, just a little them. This is Easter stuff. I just never got to slash I did go through slash summer stuff. It can just, it just, it just. And also, I can't live like this anymore. These are my workout tops and I can't find any of the ones that I wear on rotation. I'm guessing they're in one of these piles of clean clothes on my floor. Also, this over here if I can direct your attention to the right, just Easter candy that I bought for the kids, Easter baskets, but obviously I'm not gonna give them all of the candy. I'm gonna save it for myself to enjoy. These, oh my gosh, why is there one that's open and split open? This is the best candy I gotta show you. I've been nibbling probably eight a day and I just need to rid of the bag, but these are so good. Maxi eggs, never heard of them before. And I should have seen the package because I put some in Avelina's basket. I didn't know they had hazelnuts in them. She's allergic. So I got Easter candy happening. 
I got, you know, stuff for the kids' bedrooms under here. It's a whole mess. I'm trying to organize, you know? It's not my fault. I'm just living in squalor. And if you're living in squalor, just like me, this will be your little kick in the hiney to tackle it today. I have just a, I'm gonna set a timer, but you know what happened. I set a timer and then I just keep on going until the project is finished. Like, is this clean? You know what I mean? Smells clean to me. Gotta put it away. I think I can do this in 40 minutes. Challenge accepted. But before I start, I'm just gonna get a proper overview for you. Like, you know, why do I need that many sweaters? I don't. Today, I'm not focused on decluttering. I'm just focused on tidying this mess up. If I happen to get rid of a few pieces, so be it. All right, for all you lovely ladies out there who are, who are casting judgment on me, just remember you live your judgments, okay? And I would like to share a little um, piece of my heart with you right now. So get your tissues ready. I shared like on Instagram a little snippet of a song and initially, I was making sourdough. It's called Homemaking by Jennifer Margaret. Homemaking song, something like that. I tried to find the lyrics. I couldn't. So I had to go and um, write them down, which was so much fun. Um, my hand is cramping. Just kidding. I used to talk to text. But I will say, at first, I thought the song was funny. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. And then it turned emo. And I feel like I loved it even more. So I'm going to share the lyrics with you because I know you guys love that so much. So here we go. And it's exactly how I feel. So it's starts out, my floors are never clean and my clothes are always washed, but they're never in my dresser ever. There are things all out of place, taking up all of my space, clutter all over my desk and on my mind. So much to do. You know that I'm no Martha. So many things all asked of me. I wish I was like Mary. I'm preoccupied by my disorganized life. I'd like to use my time wisely. Instead, I close my eyes and take a breath. This is just a season. Hold them close and breathe again. These times don't last forever. Love and laughter, love and tears. Cast your anxiousness aside. Spend this season with them. Your house will still be fine. <laughs> Snaps. Snaps and claps and goosebumps galore. Um, obviously, hearing it sung is a lot more magical. I mean, that's subjective too. Okay, I'm going to try to see if there's some kind of cover on it on YouTube or her singing it or something because it's just so fantastic and I love the message of it, so I wanted to share it with you. I hope that resonated with you somehow because that's exactly how we feel. Like, obviously, my closet, it gets out of hand. It is my dumping ground. And it's also hidden, so I don't pick it up often because I'm like, no one is going to see this. And then inevitably someone's like, I'm bleeding, I need a band -aid. And I'm like, come on in my bathroom. And they side eye into my closet. Like, just put your blinders on, okay? Nothing's happening in there. But what I'm getting at is it's my closet. Like, who, ca who cares? And the answer to that is no one, no one. I care because I have to walk in there and get dressed every morning. But it doesn't affect anyone else's life. You know what I mean? Like no one else is thinking about like, I'm like, I'm no one. That's what I always think. Like, especially when I'm driving around, I'm like literally every single person is in a, their car, driving somewhere, living their own life, probably in a rush, you know, going who knows where I feel like in the grand scheme of things, I feel like nothing. I feel like nobody. I mean, obviously to my family, I'm like the best, but <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. So it always feels good to clean up my closet, but I find it mm, kind of unnecessary. Well, 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 all finished. I feel so much better. Obviously I threw some stuff up there. It's fine. Party decor that will eventually go in like a hallway closets for party decor. It's not built yet because you know, Ikea's shelves and all that good stuff, but everything's off the floor. Oh my gosh. I can walk in and breathe. I just shoved like eight of those chocolate eggs down my throat. Oh, they're just so good. So that's why I probably sound like I'm eating, but <laughs> oh my gosh, right? So much better. No piles of laundry everywhere. And by laundry, I mean, it was all clean clothes. It just needed to be put up. So finally did it. Feel good about that. And uh, yeah, let's go hang out at the barbecue. Okay, just for a little bit. Oh my gosh. You know what? I didn't even do my thread up 
like try on which I normally do on Instagram in my closet because I was just way too embarrassed and sometimes I'll tidy up before and I just knew it was such a big undertaking by the way that took me 30 minutes did I say that I set a timer for 45 minutes and uh here proof there's Thir well, 14 minutes, but I've been talking for a minute. You know, 30 minutes, okay? Hey, this outfit is all from Thread Up, by the by. Did you see my thrift haul? Pretty amazing stuff over here. Hey, before I run off, I'm going to switch the load and then throw some more laundry in. So that way, when I get home, it'll be like uh, time to cook dinner, and then I'll be able to fold all the laundry. Hey, speaking of clean clothes, I got some more of them to put away. It's always a huge task to keep up on laundry, and that's just why we never do it. It's an ongoing battle, and that's just how I look at it. It'll get done, and it's not a big deal. Time for dinner. Do I look more bronzed? <laughs> Been outside for hours? Coming home, even though we ate, you know, some people didn't eat, some people like to eat a lot. It's dinner time, I'm gonna throw dinner together. I threw the chuck roast in this eight by eight pan. It will shrink up a little bit. Um, it's really simple. I'm just gonna throw a ton of seasonings on there. And we got two chocolates. Hey. And we're gonna make mashed potatoes and, and maybe mac and cheese. You wanna make mac and cheese? And I'm gonna help her. Yep. Make mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. mac and hey, bye bye, hey, bye bye. Hey. There's sprinkles everywhere. Um, I didn't read the instructions. Ugh, I should learn by now. So you're supposed to cook this for three hours. I will maybe cook it for one hour. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> well, I'm debating like, should I throw this in the instant pot? No. I'm just gonna do it, I'm gonna throw it in. We might have a late dinner. I'm going to season it. I've got a garlic powder, a heavy hand with this. Pepper here. You're supposed to mix all the seasonings in a bowl and then rub it on, but we've already messed it up, right? Might be a little spicy with that amount of garlic I've got. This is ridiculous. I just need to open it up. I've got oregano, good. Onion powder, a heavy hand here. And then paprika. Honestly, it's basically the same as the taco seasoning, just minus the chili powder here. Add whatever seasonings you like. If you like cayenne, add a little pinch of that. I feel like it'll give it a really nice flavor. I'm gonna do a little bit more paprika here. There we go. I'm gonna cover this with foil and then throw it in the oven for as long as I can, as long as it takes for me to make mashed potatoes and mac and cheese, and then I'll wait until people start complaining that they're hungry. I've got the oven set at 411 degrees. You do it whichever way you want. Potatoes. And pasta. I'm gonna make mac and cheese. I found a recipe for some mac and cheese. My kids always ask for it. So here we go. Meredith, if you didn't catch what she was saying because her mouth was full of chocolate, she was singing, Hey, batter, batter, hey, batter, batter, hey. I actually don't know the name of the song, but it's from High School Musical. I don't dance, hit it out of the park. And then while he's singing, he's dancing, which is just always been one of our favorite songs around here. High School Musical is such an under, it's such a bop. Go watch it with your kids. Rewatch it. I know you did while you were growing up. Just do it again. It's so good. And Eleanor's actually doing a dance to it in Acro. And it just makes us love it even more because she starts singing it. And then, you know, we all start singing it. I mean, those of us who know it. But it's so great. And one of her friends was over for a movie night a couple weeks ago. And that's when we watched High School Musical and she had never seen it. And I was like, oh, you are in for a treat. And of course, she loved it. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I'm going to start on the mac and cheese sauce now that I cooked the noodles. I have six tablespoons of butter. I'm going to let that melt. Well, brown butter will just add a little bit more flavor. One third cup of flour. And this is going to be the roux that's going to thicken up the cheesy sauce. Not sure how much it's going to thicken up because that is a really loose looking roux here. But you know what they say, hot roux, cold milk means no lumps. So I have three cups of milk and one cup of ooey, ooey, half and half. Add that in nice and slowly to incorporate. Um, I'm also deviating from this recipe because I don't have heavy whipping cream and that's what it actually calls for. I don't know, I feel like that's a lot of liquid. When you do the powder mix, it's like 
I don't know, hardly any liquid. So cook this until it thickens up a little bit. I'm gonna add the spices here, so just a little bit of paprika. That is the rest of the container. Hallelujah, I've been waiting to get rid of this. It's really cute from Trader Joe's, but I don't know, my spice cabinet is just filling up. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper. I regret the pepper because children. <laughs> If they see a speck of black, one of my children is like, yeah, it'll be fine. Mashed potatoes are going strong. Waiting for this to come to a bubble. So the sauce is starting to get nice and thick and you can tell by the back of the wooden spoon, you can run your finger along it. I can do that because I have chef hands and uh, it won't come together, it stays separated. Sweet, so now I'm going to add an obscene amount of cheese to this. Turn the heat down. And just mix this all together. You know the recipe calls for something fancy, Gruyere and cheddar and all this kinds of stuff. I just have what Costco sells and that is good enough for us right now. Because convenience! Ooh, look at this cheesy gooeyness. <gasps> this makes me want broccoli cheddar soup. You found the spoon! Where was it? Anyway, the cheesy sauce, nice and thick and creamy. Wait, did I show you the creaminess? All right, I'll do it again just in case. I don't know if I pressed record in my pet peeve. Oh, ooh, oh, even better the second time. Around step by step, day by day. Open it. Here you go. Fresh start over, a different hand to play. We make it better the second time. Around. If you're wondering, I did burn my finger when I did that. All right, I'm going to add la pasta. Ooh. Ah. Uh, I should have left some non-cheesy. Well, too bad. Too stinking bad. All the comfort foods right now. We've got cheesy mac and cheese and pasta, and then potatoes and a chuck roast. Well, this is apparently, apparently, the best mac and cheese on the World Wide Web. And it does call to throw it in a casserole dish and get some breadcrumbs and toppings and Parmesan cheese and all that. But I'm gonna leave it like this because my kids prefer it this way. And I'm gonna take a taste test. Bon appetit. Yeah, I don't know, it's okay. It's good, but I don't know. Color is a little questionable, honestly. All right, so this was a little weird dinner uh, night for us. We normally eat dinner as a family every night, but this night, because we were out all day and, you know, at the barbecue, and then we stopped by a friend's house, so we came home, and dinner was really late because I had to cook it late and all that good stuff, and then Wolfgang was so tired, so I put him to bed before we had dinner, and that's always a to-do, and so um, the kids kind of ate at their leisure, which, honestly, they love, <laughs> and... Um, so they said this, because I had to get their review afterwards. I asked, oh, did you eat the, yeah, the mac and cheese was the best. I was like, really? And I didn't even really follow the recipe fully, as you saw. So I was surprised to hear them say that they loved it so much. Like to me, I guess I'm not a huge fan of mac and cheese. It's whatever, but... Um, the kids had a couple of friends over too, and they said it was really good. So there's your review if you're looking to make it. I think just homemade mac and cheese is far superior. It doesn't matter really what recipe you follow because it's pretty simple to throw together. And Avelina says she prefers it with the breadcrumbs and stuff. So next time I'll probably make it with the breadcrumbs. Maybe I'll go fancy and get some Gruyere cheese, depending on how much Gruyere cheese costs. And I'll make the proper recipe and I bet it's going to taste even more better. But I do find the younger kids don't like it when it's all fancied up like that. So, you know, I gotta please the masses over here. Sometimes I do it one way, sometimes I do it the other. And then after I prepared dinner, I did the dishes because I was trying to like expand time. I was letting the kids play. We went outside. We normally do that after dinner, but we did it before this night. And guess what we found? No, it's the joke. That's how you do it. What, what's the joke? What's the joke? What's the joke? The joke that Marcus Stewart sits in a rusty lawnmower <laughs> to potentially cut up. Is that the joke? Is that the joke? Six silver sovereigns in my pocket. Okay, so we're still inside. I thought we were going outside, but no, nah, not yet. Don't worry. It's coming. It's coming. You're going to find out what we found. And I'm making the mashed potatoes. So this is, I guess, the healthier way to make them. Obviously, micro-friendly foods recipe. If you want the full recipe, check out the website, subscribe to the meal plan, all that good stuff. Come on. I think it's like 12 bucks a month or something. Well, I, I love it. Best $12 I spend all month. So it just calls for like a small, very small amount of butter and then some yogurt to replace like sour cream or anything else you would add. 
And it did, I mean, to me, they did taste a little sour. You could taste the yogurt. Did I say sour cream? It's yogurt. Huh? And then also calls for some milk. And uh, all right, let's go outside and see what we found. It's the exciting part here. You did it! You laid an egg. Oh my gosh, what an exciting day. I just came out here to give them the scraps. And I found a lonely old egg. Which one of you? Which, do you want the scraps? Do you want them straight out of the jar? It's fresh. Come on, ladies. Did you lay the egg? Oh my goodness, look at that. The first egg, I knew it was coming. We knew it was coming any day now because they created this little nest. So fun, so exciting. Buk, 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 buk. I'm so sad none of the kids came out here with me. I'm wondering if I should just let them find it, you know? Just waiting for, that. I'm trying to prolong as long as I can before they all start saying, I'm starving. I love watching him ride that bicycle. It's so sweet. Okay, the Chuck Roast tastes better when you follow the actual instructions. I'm just gonna say that. But it was still good. The flavor was great, all that good stuff. I just, obviously, it's always better when you're able to slow cook a roast rather than like quick cooking it at a higher temperature. But it was still really good. Um, the macros on this are amazing. Like obviously it's meat, high protein, low carb and all that good stuff. And then you add the mashed potatoes and is it low carb though? You know, uh, but I just like a healthier version, which is what I'm all about. I don't count macros. I don't do any of that. I just make, you know, better choices as I pick up some mac and cheese and, um, you can't taste the sourness in the potatoes from the yogurt. If you like, like I was eating it together and I didn't notice the difference at all. And in the mashed potato, you know, like, I don't know. I didn't measure the milk, but the texture, I, as I picked them up, they were a little dry, but I added some milk and it, it uh, fluffed them right up there. Fluffed them, made them runnier. I don't know. You pick your word that you want to use. <laughs> so got the kids to bed. Oh, it's always a big thing. And then I came in the laundry room and decided to get some laundry done. And I do show you the baskets I told you about in one of my previous videos where I found these larger baskets at Target and they fill up the entire space. So I am going to be on the hunt for them. I actually need to add it to my target list. Oh, we've got a busy day today. I thought I would be able to ha do a target run for a couple of things that we need, but it might have to wait for another day because life. So I think I show you the baskets now. Like this is the smaller one. Here's, I mean, a world of difference when I'm basically doing a load for each child. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm really happy to have found those larger baskets, which they didn't have before. So I'm really excited about it. it seems like such a small thing to be excited about, but you know what? That's life as an adult. It's like you go to bed early and you get excited. You're like, oh, you know, or the days that you get to relax and do nothing. I use air quotes when I use the word relax because do parents ever really get to relax? I don't know. What stage of life does that happen in? Because I'm definitely not there yet. Fun times all the time, but relaxing? Mm, not when you have, you know, one year old. Well, I'm going to say that. We actually have a long weekend coming up and we're planning on going to either Adventure Island or Bush Gardens. And it's always so fun for the kids, but you know, we have a wide range of ages for our children. So we have to split up, divide and conquer, if you will. So Alex normally takes the bigger kids on the coasters and stuff. And uh, because I have found with my age, I can't, I just, even the uh, roundabout, what's that called? Uh, the merry-go-round? No, thank you. When does this end? When can I get off? Not my favorite. Like I, I have to just find a focal point, focus point and not look anywhere else. Cause I get so dizzy on those. Anyway, what was I saying? Fun for everyone, maybe except for the parents. <laughs> well, I don't know what my point is. Oh, we have a long weekend. So we're either going to one of those places, but I say that because like that should be a place where you have fun and do like all the cool things. But especially when I go to a water park, I am on high alert. I'm like, where are all my children counting constantly? I'm making sure that they are all safe, which I don't know, just especially around water, I get really nervous. And Alex is always like, relax. I'm like, how? How do you do that? Especially at a water park. He's pretty good about, about not being as high strong. But it's funny because anytime else, he's the worry wart. Like he's the one who's worried. But if we're at a, a water park specifically, it's me. I'm like, <gasps> but 
anyway, it should be fun. I say that. And then also like I, we do our best to like, you know, have as much fun as we can, but what are your plans for the weekend? Do you have a long weekend coming up? I'm excited. Oh, by the way, this stain remover, it would, I forgot what it's called. You guys know it's like the viral one that's going around everywhere. It comes in a really small container, like comically small for a stain remover, but it works really well. I actually have to try it out on the shirt I'm wearing right now because I have some kind of marker that has run through the wash but didn't come out. So I'm a little disappointed about that. Um, it is like my favorite workout shirt, but you know, c'est la vie. By the way, if you're wondering, it is still alive. It's the next morning. I'm just over here making breakfast. Not a beautiful board, but it is breakfast. And instead of making something with this sourdough, I'm just going to feed it again, but I did want to share that it's alive. 